Hey, you guys, so I'm back at it again with another collective message of the day. And so basically what I really wanted to say was like, listen to your inner guidance today. Like yesterday, let me tell you something. <laughs> I wanted to go to sleep so bad yesterday. But then again, another part of me said, stay up and write this manifestation letter. Stay up, stay up and do this YouTube channel. Stay up and create something for TikTok. Stay up and do this. Stay up and do this. Like something was telling me to stay up, meditate with myself, talk to myself, journal with myself. You know, it's a lot of energy that's happening at this time and it's a lot of unfelt trauma from the past coming up your past is trying to merge back into you trying to become one with you again and it's like you have to fight for your life like the monarchy was saying like you have to fight for your life at this time you have to really understand that your old self is fighting with your new self and you have to also realize if you're having negativity right now this is your subconscious thoughts coming to action you have worked be appreciative because you have worked so hard to now where you can finally hear your sub conscious mind you can finally understand what you're saying to yourself you finally have unlocked the key of knowing oh wait this is how i'm talking this is what's limiting me this is how i can change it and then you're actually coming into the realization that your thoughts are not true your thoughts are your thoughts until you put feelings and intention behind it so when you have a thought let it go by and examine it uh, oh my god i was listening to judge lynn taylor it was one of her books i think how to be emotionally intelligent I, I forgot which one it was but it was judge lynn taylor's book and she was just saying like you have to learn how to be a third party within your own mind it she didn't make this is a butterfly as i say, I say this she didn't say it like that but she just basically was like you have to learn how to be a third party within your own mind you have to learn how to sit here listen to it examine it but without feelings and without judgment just examining it and getting to the root of it like i have thoughts all the time like i i tell you i have thoughts all the time whether it be good or whether it be bad but i have a lot of negative thoughts and i have noticed i have to get to the root of it and a lot of my root causes is because of my family is because of my isolation it's because of the habits that i'm used to and it's also because of my own inner judgment that came from the outer judgment that i feel that i'm getting from other people so i'm internalizing what i feel like people are going to to say to me because of what people used to say to me and I have to learn how to change that habit within myself and understand I am no longer that I no longer am that person that cares about other people's judgment but my own neither judge nor jury and listen to myself